The 19th problem in this first ACT practice test focuses on the concept of scientific notation. In scientific notation, 670 million plus 700 million are equal to what? So with this problem, you can approach it two different ways. You can either add them together first and then change it to scientific notation, or you can change it to scientific notation first and then add them together. So since we have calculators, I'm going to first add them using the calculator. So after adding them together, we get 1,370,000,000. And to convert this to scientific notation, what you want to do is first count how many times you have to move the decimal. So always start where the decimal should be and then count how many steps it would have to take to get to the last number. Since notice in scientific notation, it's always gonna be something like 2.3 times 10 to something, let's say the eighth power, where the decimal always comes after the first number. You won't ever see scientific notation like this or like this. These are not correct. So it's always gonna be the decimal after the first number. So we essentially have to move this decimal so many times that it ends up here. So let's count how many steps we would move it and the number that we count will be our exponent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll have 1.37 and you can get rid of any zero following it times 10 to the ninth power since we moved our decimal nine times. So this would be our final answer. Though I did mention we could do this a separate way. We can first change these to scientific notation and then add them. So let's do it that way. So this number would have to become 6.7. Let me use a darker color here. So it'd be six, 0.7 times 10 to some power, and that power is going to be how many decimals we count. So it starts here and then goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it'd be 10 to the 8th, and this would be just 7 or 7.0 times 10 to the, well, this will also be to the 8th power, and you can count it for yourself if you want to verify. And from here, we could just add these together. So let me change colors. We'll do this as 6.7 times 10 to the eighth plus 7.0 times 10 to the eighth. And what we get is 13.7 times 10 to the eighth. Now, since the decimal is in the wrong spot, we'll have to move it once to the left. So it becomes 1.37. But when we do that, since we're moving the decimal to the left, we have to increase our exponent. So we're at 10 to the ninth. And you can see that this is the same answer that we found before. So we know for sure that choice letter D here is the right answer.